brothers and sisters from the land of the blog I'm gone this is my blog obviously and I would like to talk more today about <clears throat> walking in forgiveness knowing that you're forgiven and I just want to start out with a scripture that faith is the substance of the things hoped for the evidence of the things not seen and I believe that's in uh, Hebrews 11 1 and uh, I just like to talk this morning about how when Jesus did the work on the cross, there wasn't anything else we could do. And in uh, Hebrews 9, verse 24, it says, For Christ has entered not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. <clears throat> He's gone before us on our behalf to sit on the mercy seat, to plead mercy for us, to say, Father, look at those. I've brought them to you. And then it goes on to say in, in chapter 10, verse 4, it says, For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. In other words, we can't do anything there's no works good enough that we can do. Jesus already took all that on and we're set free from that. And then when we go down into Hebrews chapter 10, verse 18, we see, where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Once your sin is forgiven, it's gone. God doesn't remember it. We're the ones that hold on to it. And if you're one of those people that holds on to their sin and can't let go, just won't let go, and, and says, it's impossible, my sins are too bad, they're too scarlet, they're too stinky, they're too rank, they're too this, they're too that. Well, I have news for you. Jesus did the work on the cross. He shed His blood. He was the ultimate sacrifice. All you have to do is come in agreement with His Word and accept that your sins are forgiven and walk in that nature. And then down in verse 23 of chapter 10, it says, Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. For He who promised is faithful. <clears throat> God is faithful to keep His word. When He says you are forgiven, you are forgiven. Don't hold on to this. Don't hold on to those things. Don't walk in condemnation. The Word of God declares there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. It doesn't say, I'll remember this in six months if I catch you doing it again. No! The Lord said to forgive 70 times 7. In other words, He's going to always forgive. The Word of God declares that He throws your sins as far as the east is from the west, he won't remember your sins anymore. He throws them into the sea of forgetfulness. I went there one day. I forgot what it was like. Anyhow, bad joke, I realize. Anyhow, I just want to say thank you for coming to my blog. Thank you for viewing it. And I just speak a blessing over those that are watching and those that aren't watching today. I just ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would bless your children beyond measure, that Holy Spirit, you would enlighten them to their rights, their standing in Christ, and that Jesus, that you would touch them, heal them, and lift them up. In the name of Jesus, amen.